welcome to Arts and Draftings. For this video, I'll be presenting to you the Golden Bridge using oil pastel. First thing I did was to outline my subject using HP pencil. After outlining, you can now start rendering or painting. And by the way, for the color designations or numbers of the pastels that I'll be using, I'll be flashing it on the screen. I'll also be sharing some techniques that I'm using in oil pastel. And first is the color edging through the use of paper. And this will allow you to have a neat and straight edge of color. This is applicable in solid surfaces with straight edges. And after you have applied the first coat of your background, wrap the applied pastels using tissue with the same technique that I'm using a while ago. And as you see in the outcome, it really revealed the form of my subject. By the way, in blending pastels, you must always start in your lightest color going to the darkest color. This will allow you to control the lightness and darkness of it. And same way with applying the pastel colors. And since this is night scene, I wanted to emphasize the reflections of lights, so I applied the yellow. Then top it over with orange, then lastly with red, because that's the color of the golden bridge. Then for the mountains, I am applying dark brown, then top it over with black later on. For the mountain range, I'll be using cotton buds for blending and this will allow it to rub it properly and, and will not remove a lot of pastels on the paper. And as you observe on the edges of the mountains, it really emphasizes the edges.
now, I started to apply light blue on the surface water. And use violet on the shaded portions of the water. Then put some reflections of the light coming from the bridge. Then rub it with tissue. And put some shadows on the bridge using black. And as you observe, I applied first the bright color a while ago. And this will have some effects later on. finalizing the color of the golden bridge Also put reflections of the lights on the bridge using a bright color. Don't forget to put some shadows of the bridge. This will make your painting or drawing to have a depth and contrast. And that makes your artwork or painting more interesting and appealing. And now I wanted to put some elements in my painting. I wanted to put a silhouette of a man and a lady in my foreground. And here, I used paper cutout to achieve the clear form of my silhouette. Then blend the pastel using cotton buds to achieve a smooth application of color. Then now finalize your drawing, put the primary details of the bridge using colored pencil. white ink for the stars on the sky. Just apply it randomly and put some larger dots.
you can also use toothpick to put the reflections of the flowing water or waves. And this is what I'm talking a while back. I'll be using toothpick to draw the trusses on the bridge. And since we use bright color for the first coat, you can now see the effects of it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button to be updated for upcoming videos. Again, this is Arts and Draftings by Denzel. Have fun and enjoy doing arts.